Hello, hello, hello. Sir David the Bard coming to you from Kangaroo City. Shit, just kangaroos pounding on my door. <laughs> That's why I keep it locked. <laughs> Down here in Australia, um, I just had a comment, and usually I don't comment on comments unless they strike some kind of a principle that I think other people might be interested in. Um, one of the people said, um, who, uh, what church do we know of that gives any money back to the people that are donated to the church? Well, <clears throat> I'm not here to defend any church. I don't care if you're Christian, you're Muslim, you're Hindu, you're Buddhist. I don't care. I'm atheist. <laughs> I don't donate money to human beings. I donate it to the uh, hungry children in the Philippines. Well, let me tell you an experience here. <clears throat> When I was trying to bring my wife uh, to the United States, I, I was a little low on money. It was an expensive venture, very expensive, and uh, I wanted to hire an attorney. I heard uh, that was the best way to go, and so I looked around. <laughs> then I looked at the prices of the attorneys. I couldn't afford it. I'm not ashamed of that. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I'm not. So, you know... I went over to Catholic Community Services. Now I've never been I've been in a Catholic church I think twice and you do a lot of kneeling there and you don't understand too much if it's in Latin. But anyway, I went into Catholic Community Services uh years ago before I moved to Australia in uh, Salt Lake City. And this isn't a commercial, but if you want to send money, I'll give it to the kids in the Philippines anyway. I went in and I said, "Hey, I'm poor." I'm trying to bring my uh, Filipino wife to the uh, United States. Is there anything you can do to help me? And they said, yeah, we'll give you an attorney. Well, I just about died. I about fell off the chair. And I said, well, how much is this going to cost? And she said, well, in your situation, we're going to charge you $400. I said, is that per hour? <laughs> you, <laughs> is this the Crusades <laughs> continuing? She said, no, for the whole thing. I said, hell, for a year and a half, two years? She said, yeah, yeah. So they let me make payments. You know, and a dollar a month, hell, I'm still paying. I still owe $196. <laughs> anyway, they gave me an attorney. I had to pay him $400. Now, uh, you know, I, I was a Mormon back in those days. They never asked me my religion. They never gave me the old crusade cross. They never said... Uh, we want a recommendation from your priest. They never said anything. I was a person uh, in need, and my religion didn't matter. Now, I also know that the Catholic Church in Salt Lake City has a free um, lunch meal. Now, I don't want to exaggerate when I don't know the facts. I don't know if it's daily, if it's monthly, only a certain day of the week. But I know it's 100% more than the Mormons have. I know that if you give one candy bar to a homeless person, that's more than the Mormon church does. And I think the Catholic church also is a big, um, now, uh, again, when I don't know, I'm not going to tell you that I know. I think the Catholic church is a big contributor to the uh, homeless shelter. They're on uh, 400 uh, south and a little bit west. Um the guys go over and sleep in Pioneer Park, and um, I know that the Catholic Church is heavily involved giving money to the community. Now, this isn't a commercial for them. I've seen the Baptist, and I've seen uh, Seventh-day Adventist, and I saw, who did I see the other day? Um, I don't know who it was. But they had a free dinner for the public. Come on in, and uh, you don't have to wear garments. <laughs> you don't have to have a temple recommend. You don't have to uh, have a pass. It's just people helping people. Well, the Mormons don't work that way. The Mormons uh, are a cult, and uh, you have a cult card to do anything in the cult. Well, the Mormon church didn't help me one way. Um, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a lie. That's a lie. When my wife came into the country, we were both still LDS, and we had nothing. Shit. We didn't have furniture. We had just barely four or five uh, changes of clothes, 
and uh, we had an old uh, car that had a couple hundred thousand miles on it and uh, we we were poor we were really poor now to the credit of the Mormon Church and to that bishop uh, in Centerville Utah um, they let us go over to the uh, church uh, food warehouse and um, we did get some canned food and we got some milk and we got some vegetables and I think we did that two or three weeks because I want to be honest I want to be honest so you know I have benefited I got a little of my tithing money back there so I benefited and we finally got up on our feet and uh, got going <laughs> and still going I guess so when the person said to me I don't know churches that help the Mormon Church at times will help their own people now it's getting less and less they're almost out of money and so helping people uh, with cash or rent payments uh, or car payments insurance payments I don't think they do anymore at all um, but I do know that the Catholic Church does not uh, charge you or look for a temple recommend or your garments and if you're hungry you can go in there and eat uh, the Mormon Church has a resemblance of that with their cannery operation. Now, I've been over when I was younger. I went to the cannery because they assigned us. I mean, everything is free in the Mormon Church because the members are willing to do anything for free. <laughs> Sell their soul. I used to go over to the cannery, and I think we were canning peaches or pears or jello. I remember making jello in the cans. Well, it you know it wasn't fun it was a dirty job <laughs> but I had to do it <laughs> to stay active I guess but I hear that the canneries are basically uh, cutting back and some of them uh, are shutting down now when I was in um, oh god I can't remember what town it was um, when you're not close to a cannery they have a truck that comes to the stake center and uh, all the families that are poor stand in line and we get our food from the truck that happened two or three oh I remember Paso Robles California they did that we weren't close enough to the uh, LA Daddy, you're almost, at the computer. almost uh, you're on YouTube I know her she'll talk back anyway the answer to the question is the Mormon Church does not give freely. It never has. And when there's um, disasters, you'll see the Catholic Church and the Baptists and the Seventh Day Adventists and um, you know other churches open their their doors. Now the kitchen uh, has every Mormon chapel has a kitchen where you can feed people. Every Mormon chapel generally has a a, um, a um, basketball court where you can put down you know 200 people. Uh, in the Philippines you could put a thousand in there because they sleep standing up but anyway anyway I've never seen the open the Mormon church ever open to the public because you're afraid someone will smoke in their building or someone might shoot drugs or someone who is needy uh, will display less than uh, supposed LDS uh, standards so the Mormons are a cult they'll help their own members a little bit not as much as they used to they're they're low on money and um, the other religions seem to be open to the public whoever you are so if the Mormon Church turns you down uh, go over to the Catholic Church and uh, they may help you they may help and they will not ask your religion so I admire that about the Catholics I haven't had direct experience um, I have now I think about it I can't think of a seven-day Adventist I volunteered once in a homeless shelter and they were providing the electricity and they were providing the, the cots and me I was supervising so the police didn't go crazy <laughs> I let it go crazy I didn't care I wasn't being paid I was a damn volunteer do what you want guys I'm going to bed <laughs> so anyway in answer to the question I have seen other religions I don't know anything about Muslims uh, I, I know Muslims are very, very uh, hospitality oriented, hospitable. And uh, I think the Indian uh, Hindus are also. Um, but I do know also the Catholic Church in the Philippines. I have had some experience there. And they seem to be uh, quite open to helping anybody. And uh, they're, they're not into their religion as much as they're into the principles 
of the uh, supposed Jesus Christ of helping people and forgiving 70 times 7. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, give a quasi-commercial to other religions, uh, not to the LDS religion, but I will say that I received help from the LDS religion on two or three occasions uh, over 66 years, and, and I appreciate that. I don't want to download that or down uh, speak that. I'd like to download it, <laughs> but anyway, um, I want to be honest. I want to be honest. And uh, my favorite were the mashed potatoes. They have a box of mashed potatoes that are best in the world. And uh, when I open the uh, cans of food, I can always remember me at the cannery as a volunteer. <laughs> I don't want to eat a lot of that food. <laughs> I know what volunteers do, you know. We didn't spit in any cans. <laughs> but <laughs> we're, there was no... Um, clearance in those days for um, food service workers and that's what we were we didn't wear gloves hell we came in out of the car from construction and started peeling <laughs> apples and and uh, and uh, pears and stuffing their ass in a can and then it went through a machine and put a lid on it so I don't know it, it might be <laughs> a little dangerous uh, their brand is called Deseret and uh, they produce it in their own canneries and some, not as much as before, some of it is grown in their own fields here in the United States. So if you're the other 197 countries that are watching me, we are white and delightsome. We eat like pigs. The rest of you <laughs> sit on a river bank and starve your ass off. You can't even afford garments. And the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints ain't gonna do shit for you. <laughs> it's a cult, folks. Thanks.